Alrighty, let's see. If 78 grams of undecayed nuclei initially, and in 68 hours you have 45 left. Now clearly there's no relationship between those two, right? There's not an integer relationship, so we're going to have to use the full-fledged formula, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to find what the decay probability is, and then we'll use uh, the half-life is ln2 over, over um, the decay probability, right? So let's figure out what the half, what the decay probability is using this guy. Okay, so let's see, 78 initially. So 78 is our initial amount. E to the minus lambda times 68, right? Okay, notice I'm just gonna put hours in there. Uh, and that'll be fine. This this decay probability will be in hours to the minus one. And let's see, we have 45 left, right? So it, it, at 68 hours, we started out with 78, and now we've got 45 left, right? So um, the ln of uh, 45 over 78, all divided by um, all divided by 68. Is that right? Yeah, negative 68. That's going to be my lambda. So let's see if I can do this. Let's see. Natural log of 45 divided by 78 uh, divided by negative 68. This should be a positive number. Oh, hey, this is good. Okay, so my lambda is 0 0.0080891. Eight nine one six seven etc cetera, etc cetera. and this is by the way has the units of hours probability per hour okay probability has no units uh, but hours does right okay so let's see so now now we can just plug it in here right our t one half is ln two over zero point zero zero eight zero eight eight nine okay so I'm just going to go natural log of two divided by this thing I just got, and I have 85.69 hours. That's my half-life. Okay, um, that's great. Let me. I'm going to show you how to do it without using um, without using this formula. Okay, so we can also do this, right? Um, 45 is going to equal uh, 78 times one half raised to the Right, and then it's going to be um, 68 divided by the half life. Right, 68. Right, so so if it's if it's uh, if that's a half life, then that'll be a one, and if it's two half lives, it'll be a two, etc. Okay, and then you can do this. Right, we can do the same thing. Right, ln 45 over 78 uh, equals uh, ln of one half. Uh, times 68 over the half-life. Mm, this cannot be solved. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What do we want to do here? This is so complicated. All right, so my half-life is going to equal uh, ln one-half times 68 divided by ln, if the fractions serve me well here. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. I just swapped this guy and this guy, right? All right. This is a horrible fraction. I'm sure your math teachers could simplify this, but um, I'm just, you know, way too math limited to do that, right? Okay, ln 0.5 times 68 divided by ln, ln 45 divided by 78, 85.69. The beauty of that is that you don't have to remember this this relationship, right? T one half is ln two over. <laughs> of course, you have to you have to what remember a whole different relationship. But this makes sense, right? It's going to be the number of half lives you have one half raised to that, right? Anyway, 